formulas and functions is a very popular topic in Microsoft Excel assessment test. It's also used very frequently in Excel interview. If you look at the types of questions being asked, a lot of them related to fundamentals of Excel formulas and functions. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to Excel formulas, Excel functions, and we'll do some basic operations with both, learning about key functions that are used as part of Excel interview and as part of Excel assessment test. Based on the job candidate applies for, there are typically three levels of Excel assessment. There's a basic Excel assessment, intermediate assessment, and advanced assessment. In this video, we're going to focus on the basic level assessment questions, which is typically a screening process for entry level or even experienced candidates, which includes administrative assistants, retail store managers, sales representative, marketing representative accountants, entry level people, and a lot of other categories of job interviews, which require Excel skills. In this video, I am going to introduce you to the concept of Excel formula, Excel functions. We'll look at some questions asked as part of Excel interview or Excel assessment test. And I'll show you a couple next steps how you can learn more. One important thing to mention is that I'll be completing my operation in this column here based on the sample data that you see on the screen. But I'd like you to download this workbook so you can practice yourself and either follow along or maybe later do the same exercises on your own. Did you know that one of the fastest way to find information about Excel topics is to use Microsoft Excel built-in help? Just press F1 button on the keyboard and then search for the topics you're looking for. A lot of articles in Microsoft Help even have built-in videos which help you learn the fastest way possible. Now let's continue and have more fun. Follow link in the description of this video to download the file so you can follow along and learn more. Make sure to check out description of this video for the link to download. Let's start by looking at Excel formula. Excel formula is used to perform basic calculations. This is the syntax on the screen of typical Excel formula. You have value one, you have operation, and then you have value two. Let's perform simple Excel calculation. To do that, I'm gonna put my cursor into the cell E4. I'm gonna say equal sign, cause that's what triggers Excel formulas. And then using sample data, I'm gonna say two plus 54. And then we'll hit enter. And then you see the result 56, and this is a result of execution of Excel form. You can use Excel formula to perform basic mathematical functions. For example, addition, subtraction, division, multiplication, and a lot more. Let's perform multiplication using Excel formula. To do that, we'll do very similar. Uh, we'll say equal sign, and then we'll pick two values. We'll pick two which is in the cell B4, and then we'll use multiply, and then we will use three. So we multiply in values in the cell B4 and B6, and I'm gonna hit enter, and the result of this uh, mathematical operation is six. Don't forget that you need to practice uh, because that's the best way to learn. So make sure you download this file and complete your part of this uh, exercises in the cells F4 and F5. Now let's look at Microsoft Excel functions. Functions a little bit different from formulas, but they have a lot of similarity. You still need to type equal sign, then you type the name of the function. Then typically you have mandatory arguments, and it could be either cell reference, could be value, could be a range, and then you have list of optional values. I need to ask you a favor. In addition to questions that are covered as part of this tutorial, what are the other questions you see on the exam? Could you please post them in the comments section of this video? I'd like to cover those questions in my next tutorials. Thank you very much. And now let's continue and have more fun. Let's look at some function. Some functions, you can trigger it in multiple ways. Let's start with the simple and the fundamental ways to use some function. I'm going to type equal sign then the name of the function, and you see Excel immediately starts helping you. So as soon as I typed sum, it also shows me a tooltip and shows me what this function is going to do. So it adds all the numbers in the range of cells. 
Then I'm going to open parenthesis and it shows me the syntax of this function. So it shows me number one, which is a mandatory argument. You have to have at least one argument to sum. And then it shows you a list of optional arguments. So let me show you multiple ways how you can use sum function. For example, I just opened the parenthesis and uh, I'm going to say, let's do a sum of value two. And I'm going to say plus sign and value uh, B6. And I'm going to close the parenthesis and it does um, the calculation. It shows me uh, the value five, which is exact result of summing two and three. That's one way to use some function. Let me delete this and let me show you another way. So I'm going to type equal sign sum open parenthesis and I'm Instead of just selecting values as a plus, I'm going to hold my control button and uh, holding control button on the keyboard, I'm going to start selecting values. You see what happened. I just selected uh, values B4, B6 and B8 on the keyboard and I'm going to close the parenthesis and hit enter. And now we have the sum of three values uh, and the end result of this is 17. Because some function is so popular, let me show you another way to trigger some function. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete the value I just put in uh, and we will say equals sum. And now I'm going to open the parenthesis and I'm just going to select by dragging my um, cursor. I do not have anything pressed on the keyboard. I'm just dragging and you see that I selected the range of values B4 through B10 and I'm going to close the parenthesis and hit enter. And now I have some of all these values in this range, B4 through B10, and uh, some value, the actual calculation, the result of calculation is 166. To help you get prepared for Microsoft Excel assessment test, I have created free ebook, which contains most frequently asked questions on the exam. Make sure to follow the link in the description of this video to download this free ebook. Now let's continue and have more fun. So summing up values uh, manually and typing everything manually is very cool. But as you well aware, Excel is all about productivity. So let me show you a couple uh, shortcuts and tips uh, and tricks that Microsoft Excel creators implemented in the tool. So I'm going to delete this value. And like I said, because sum is so popular, uh, they created uh, the whole auto sum function right here on the home tab in the ribbon and what you can do you need to select the cell and then click auto sum and you see it tries to predetermine where would I like to uh, what are the values that I'd like to auto sum and typically because sum is used to select um, and do calculations with the values that are on top of the sum function it pre-selected uh, the range of E4 and E5 for me. But you see what it did. As soon as I click that button, it automatically inserted the template, which is equal sign, the name of the function, parenthesis, and it right now allows me to just highlight the range. I'm going to select exactly the same range and then hit the enter button. And we again back to 166 as the final result of this. But you see what happened. I just did two clicks. I clicked on the auto sum. Let's do it again. I'm going to delete the value so I can show this to you. I clicked on the auto sum button. I selected the, the cell and then I click on the auto sum button and then I dragged and dropped and then I hit enter. So it minimizes the number of clicks I could do and it allows me to perform calculations in effective manner. Would you like to know what are the key objectives employers are looking to test as part of Excel employment assessment test? Make sure to download free ebook from my website, howtoanalyzedata.net slash exam objectives. Now let's continue and have more fun. And there is more. Uh, let me show you another way. As you probably well aware, there is a formulas tab in Excel, which specifically designed um, to work with functions. So what you can do, you can, uh, we can delete the values of sum and uh, we can just use insert function button and here you can research functions. Uh, we knew obviously that we want to use sum, but a lot of times you don't know which function you would like to use. So for example, if I type sum and click go, it shows me sum and all related functions like sum if, sum if s, and 
some other ones which uh, you probably will be able to research shows me the syntax and shows me the descriptions and you can also click help on this function and if you do that uh, it will bring you to Microsoft's um, office uh, website and this is I display on the screen where you can a lot of times watch video read a lot about the function so basically it's the way for you to learn more about particular function I think I've exhausted all the different ways uh, to uh, how you can trigger some functions there are probably more ways um, but I think that should cover the fundamentals of how to use some function and don't forget uh, you have to do practice yourself if you're trying to learn the tool uh, the most uh, effective way to learn is use hands-on exercises. That's why I uh, allow you to download this practice file. So make sure you take advantage of that. So you, you fill up the F column uh, and uh, complete the same things I am doing on your own. Now let's move on and look at the min function. So same way to trigger min function, you click equal sign, uh, type the name of the function min, open the parentheses, and you see the syntax. So we basically need to select the range and uh, Excel will automatically determine what's the minimum value in this range. So let's select this range, uh, close the parenthesis and uh, hit enter and the minimum value is 2, right? You see that's the lowest value in this range. What's the maximum value? Uh, very similar syntax. Let's hit enter and say max. Open the parenthesis, um, select the range close the parenthesis and uh, we have 85 which is the largest value in this range let's move on and look at the count uh, function count basically counts number of uh, values in the range so same uh, way to trigger it equal sign count open the parenthesis and let's select the range b4 through b10 seven values but let's experiment here let's delete everything again and type it again count open the parenthesis and let's select fewer values so five values we're selecting and let's see if it changes the results and it did it shows us the five values what are the other excel assessment test questions you'd like me to cover as part of my future tutorials could you please post them in the comment section of this video i really appreciate it now let's continue and have more and let's go to the last one, which is average. To calculate the average, you need to click equal sign, type the name, average, shows you what it does, returns the average arithmetic mean of the arguments, which can be numbers or names, arrays, or references that contain numbers. Open the parenthesis, uh, and let's select this range of seven values, close the parenthesis, and this is the average that has been calculated. And now let's look at three Excel interview questions that you might encounter as part of uh, Excel uh, hiring process. So question number one, sum is used to calculate total number of values in the range. So it's a tricky question. They use word total, which is part of the description of the sum function, but because it's a total number of values, it's the answer is false right because some functions is used to calculate sum of values not number of values in the range so i'm going to highlight the answer false here in green question number two when using excel functions you have to provide optional arguments and the answer is false again so uh, let's go and use uh, take a look at the functions as uh, you guys well aware we have two types of arguments. We have mandatory arguments, which typically presented in the first part um, of the function. And then we have optional arguments that are typically presented after. So you do not have to supply optional arguments, but you have to supply mandatory arguments. So that's why the answer here is false. And now let's look at the last question, which is some function supports mathematical operations cell references and ranges as arguments and the answer here is true if you go back in this video you see you will see that um, you can say sum and then um, cell reference b4 plus b6 or you can say sum b4 comma b6 or you can say sum uh, b4 colon b6 that would represent all of these three conditions, mathematical operations, cell references, and cell ranges as arguments.
So I'm going to mark answer to this question as true. If you like the content, please make sure to click the like button and share with your friends. Also, there's tons of information in the description of this video. Make sure to check it out. Make sure to check out my other relevant videos and subscribe to my YouTube channel. We have a lot of great stuff planned in the pipeline and I don't want you to miss any of it. And if you'd like to get notified about all the new stuff that are coming out, make sure to subscribe to my email list as well. All links are here on the screen. Make sure to click to stay in touch. Thanks again for watching.